Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Game Over ENT. My name is Trey and it's time for The Walking Dead Season 2 Episode 4 Amid the Ruins Predictions. Yes, it is time to start guessing what the hell is going to happen next time. Alright, so based on Telltale's history, I can tell you what we can't use to predict this. We cannot use the thumbnail. The thumbnail for Episode 3 in Harm's Way had Clementine cradling Rebecca, looking like Rebecca's going to go into labor. And that scene never happened. Nothing even came close to that happening. So those images are out the window. Don't even look at them, okay? And the teasers are halfway out the window too. Alright, none of the teaser images or scenes showed up in the actual episode. All you basically get is a broad, very broad casting of the story and what's going to unfold, okay? So looking at the images and looking at the scenes and, you know, dissecting them, it's a waste of time because that stuff usually does not happen in the real show. So, this prediction is based solely off of what happened at the end of episode 3 and the characters I have left in my party right now, okay? And what happened to them at the end. So that's going to make this actual a little bit more difficult to predict it without the stuff, but uh, my creative juices are flowing, so you know, let's go ahead and hop into it. So the story ends off with us basically in a shitstorm of walkers. Alright, everybody's a little bit separated from each other, don't really know what's going on, there's no real plan uh, in place right now. So we're not in the best place to begin an episode. As far as the characters that could possibly be did, I'm talking about Sarita and I'm talking about Sarah. All right, so Sarah, last time we saw her, she was running through the forest. Basically, look, she ran into her death. Doesn't look very good for her. We see her broken glasses in the teaser, but you don't know. I don't know if we could use that. But you know what I think? I think we're going to see Sarah in episode four for sure because if we don't see them die, then they are alive. That's just how it works in The Walking Dead, okay? You don't see the gruesome death scene and they're still alive all right so sarah i think it's gonna be a re-emerging um she may not be the same sarah that we know all right because she could either turn out two ways she could either turn out like scared petrified with fear or she could come out of there like a badass veteran okay like sarah where have you been i've been killing all these walkers oh, nah that's not gonna happen <laughs> So I think we're going to get to see Sarah and she's going to be mortified. She did see some horrific scenes before she ran off. Father, death right in front of her face. Her covered in walker guts and goo. She's been living a shelter life for a very long time. So this is a happy dose of the walking dead for her. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to turn out very good for her. But I do think we're going to see her in episode 4. She is not lost. We're going to find her. Okay. Now as far as Sarita is concerned... Do you believe that cutting off her arm or killing a walker is actually going to prolong her life, actually affect her survival? I do not. I'm guessing that Sarita is a goner, okay? Because either way is a lose-lose situation, okay? I cut off her arm right there in the middle of that, alright? She's going to black out. She's going to bleed out unless we get a tourniquet on it really quick. Same thing I said with Pete. So that situation doesn't look very good. It's not really the best spot to be trying to help somebody out, okay? I'm over here killing walkers left and right. And then on the other hand, you kill the other walker who actually is attacking her. And, you know, she still has her arm left, but she's a ticking time bomb. I don't know how much time they have before, you know, it's too late to cut off the arm and the whole body is basically contaminated. But I don't think she's going to make it in time to do whatever she needs to do before we get out of this chaotic situation. So Sarita, mm -mm, I'm crossing her off the list. Hopefully Kenny does not blame me for this though because uh, I did cut off her arm. So hopefully Kenny does not associate her death with what I did with my actions. Okay, I don't want to be on Kenny's bad side. Me and Kenny, actually, we see eye to eye in a lot of things. Okay, my choices actually go align with Kenny most of the time. After we escape from the walkers, I believe in the confusion our group is going to get separated. Okay, some people are going to get in one place, some people are going to be in another place, and we'll be wondering where the each each group is. Okay, and um, I admit the ruins basically means that I think like the title is coming into place saying that you know the ruins of Carver's whole camp thing that was going on, and basically us trying to put together some sense of order or some type of arrangement so we can keep on surviving in this case. And I think this episode is going to be very similar to uh, The Walking Dead Season 1 Episode 3 where we basically got some of the characters arguing arguing among themselves about what to do and what not to do. And uh, we've been put in a very uh, different situation because I got Kenny over here trying to take the leadership 
leadership role but i can see how some people would have to be like opposed to his leadership styles because kenny is a little brass and very bold right now and uh i can see some people like disagreeing with that like when he asked everybody to stay well he didn't ask them to stay around he asked them to leave you know some people were like disagreeing with that uh i.e luke and i think we're going to have to choose sides in um in episode four it's gonna be a lot more serious than what tay would have sit at too all right about who you want to go with and uh i don't know if luke is going to be i think luke's gonna be missing out on a lot of people okay because i don't think people are going to be abandoning kenny anytime soon but yeah i think they're going to give us those options some new interesting characters that actually being into the group uh jane and mike all right mike he's the gentle giant all right strong guy but also he's very sensible man he actually doesn't want clementine to do anything too dangerous or too reckless so he actually you know he's looking at things like a, a real adult would in that perspective you know like she's just a little girl what do you expect her to do he's looking at things kind of like at clementine like carlos was okay so you know i like that relationship some people actually compared him to lee because you know he's kind of protective of her but i don't think that relationship is going to develop that far along the way but i do think he's going to be playing a much bigger role in episode four for sure okay um uh, now will he be very opinionated i don't know he seems more like a go with the flow type guy uh so whatever whatever group he actually sides more with that's who he's going to go with i don't think he's going to be trying to take no leadership role or trying to give orders or anything like that on the other hand we got jane over here jane is used to being alone a lone wolf okay she's not used to associating with people she actually like when mike actually heard her talk i wonder how long she's been there before she actually starts speaking to people so you know she's used to like being in her own mind coming up with her own plan she actually had the thing worked out with uh with troy as a, a safety net plan just in case this never came through the group never came happen this never happened and stuff like that so she already had some plan that works okay so she's a lone wolf man uh I actually look at her somewhat like a future Clementine okay if I keep going down this dark path people around me keep dying I could possibly end up like Jane all right I do see that and uh I think she has some similarities with me she actually I think she actually has an attachment to Clementine though because you know she does you know she does depend on her in one scene where she's like I need your help to do this and at the end of that night after I do that deed she's like thank you you know even if I say it was nothing she still says thank you so maybe similar to the way that carver looked at clementine like okay this is a very strong little girl to survive as long as she has she's different from the rest of the people uh i feel like she can actually be useful and uh i need her on my side so basically she sees clementine as very useful not as a little girl but as a useful asset but another question is do you think the 400 day characters are still going to be making an appearance in episode four or is this the end of their storyline of course we already know bonnie's in there okay i think she's going to be a, a definitely uh taking type uh leadership type role in this but people are going to be like not that quick to trust her okay she was the one who brought us in that tricked us like this so you know even though she helped us out during the last minute it really didn't work out too well because we still got caught up in that carver trap and he could have easily killed up all of them it wasn't for clementine jumping in to save the day and what the hell happened what the hell happened to get me in that get the group in that situation where did bonnie lead us okay that that whole plan really went awry okay because the group was about to die right there luckily clementine to the rescue also another thing that i thought was weird about episode three was like uh i got two radios right i got two radios i had one in my hand i was about to give to luke and somehow carver captured luke and had the other radio in his hand what the hell happened to that other radio to get in carver's hand i don't see the steps i was supposed to bring the radio to luke and I don't know what happened between that point and this point. We could possibly have a traitor inside the group. Unless you can explain how that how that radio got in Carver's hand. I just don't see it right now. I don't, I'm trying to put the pieces together, but I don't see it. So uh, what's your thoughts about that? I want to hear that in the comments below if you have any suggestions about that. And the rest of the 400 day characters, they could make an appearance just because maybe Carver's camp got overrun and they're out there trying to start their own little thing too. And uh, if we do run into them in episode four, it's going to be conflict, okay? I don't think they're going to be allies, okay? I think we're going to be actually seeing them as like a threat. Or they could actually be hunting us as revenge of Carver, okay? Like you killed our leader. We're not going to let you get away with this. And they could be hunting us like that. So if they do show up again, I'll... I don't know. You think this is the end of 400 Day characters? Was that all it was worth for some quick cameos from them? I don't know. 
you know we could see but you know characters that could possibly end up dead like the 400 day characters or not be like associated with us they usually don't have a significant role in the coming episodes which is exactly what's going on with Nick right now all right Nick had probably two lines of dialogue throughout the whole episode tried to talk to the guy make sure he still had a pulse and he was barely, barely breathing all right so Nick I think his life is forfeit in episode four now uh, you think it's gonna be like he's, he's probably gonna die like two ways he's gonna go out like a hero like you know I know I messed up a lot guys I know everything else he's gonna sacrifice himself to save another life or he's gonna go out like like Ben you know just a plain old screw up okay all the way to the day that he dies but I do think Nick is going to perish in episode four. And uh, the last thing I want to say is that the uh, the whole baby situation with Rebecca, you know, it looks very grim. Either way, either way, baby born or baby dies, it still looks grim for Rebecca in the long run. With no, doc with no doctor around to provide medical attention to her, it doesn't look very good. And I actually believe that that whole baby scenario thing is going to be happening toward the end of the episode, even if it happens at all. All right, they already tricked us with it before. It's supposed to be in episode three, but uh, if it does happen, I don't think Rebecca's going to make it, man. I don't, I don't have much hope for Rebecca or the baby. All right, if you see otherwise, then let me know in the comments below what you think about that. But yo, that's all. That's all I can think about saying right now for uh, episode four in the midst of ruins. It's going to be pretty interesting to see what goes down because I really have no clue where they're going to be taking us or where we're going to be going. This is all purely guessing right here. And uh, if you want to share your thoughts below, please do hit me with a like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more Game Over Entertainment. All right, I'm out of here, people. Uh, have a good one.